I love Roll for Adventure. It's a great game. It's a cooperative dice rolling game. And it almost feels like a party game in, in, in some ways, but it's also very strategic. Uh, essentially what you're trying to do is uh, each of you has a hero with a special ability. And on your turn, you're going to roll your dice uh, and, and assign them to places on the board. Uh, the main goal is to defeat the Master of Shadows. And the only way you can defeat the Master of Shadows is by collecting enough Power Stones depending on the level of difficulty you choose. The way you acquire Power Stones is, like I said, by assigning your dice to specific regions here. Um, also, that's where you're going to get hit, right? Like, where you're trying to uh, defeat the monster is also where the monster is going to attack you. So it's a, it's a lot of uh, interesting, like, oh, I'm going to put my dice here because that will kind of protect us from getting hit. But then also you're neglecting areas where you might actually get benefits that will defeat the ultimate end uh, boss, okay. boss monster. So tell us about the rule mechanics. Is it, is it similar to like, maybe like a Yahtzee where you have to roll a certain number when you roll, or is, just, uh, is it just attributes placement? Or? This is going to sound confusing, but the way that it works is on your turn, you're going to roll all of your colors of dice that are available to you. And you can put out all of a certain um, result. So if I wanted to, I could put out all of my sixes, my four or my three, and those would go on their respective places on the board. Let's say I do that. I put out all my sixes here. It is still my turn. I still get to keep rolling my dice until I have nothing left to put out. And then, it's, and then, and then what happens after, after I've done that, uh, I'm going to reveal a card, and this is, again, this is where you're going to either get beat up, potentially lose the game, um, because these are the Shadow Master's minions. And th they will attack very specific regions. Like this wood demon is going to attack you in the forest. And you notice how I just put out all these sixes? Well, he doesn't like that. He's going to take one and push it into the oblivion. It's no longer available to you until you release it from there. It's, it's, it's one that, uh, this, this game specifically, the best way I have found to teach it is to just get people to start playing it. Because once you start actually rolling the dice, it all makes sense. Explaining it using just explanation like this is a little bit, I don't know, tricky. tricky. Yeah. Well, one more question. How do you win, well, it's actually two questions. How do you win and how do you die in this uh, game? So, in this case, now these are all the different levels of difficulty, right? They get harder and harder, but in the easiest scenario, the Book of Magic, you need five of these uh, power stones. And the way you acquire the power stones are depicted in these different regions. For instance, um, if during the course of the game you can get enough either fives or sixes in the forest to hit this barrier, you'll get a power stone. Okay. All the dice get distributed back to their original owners, and then this barrier gets pushed back, and you can do it again. So that's how you're going to acquire those power stones, but you already saw how this wood demon is going to try and deter you from doing that by taking your dice away from those areas. So you're constantly fighting like the randomness of the dice rolls, the randomness of the monsters that are going to come out, and then working together as a team. It's, it's a lot of fun. It always feels like it comes down to that last minute roll where it's like if we get a six, we win. If we don't, we lose. Um, and for, for me, that's always fun. Um, so that's how you beat the boss monster, the Master of Shadows. The way you lose is, let's say, that we draw this card at the end of a turn, and there are no dice there for him to throw into the Oblivion. Instead of doing that, he's going to hit you. You'll lose one health point. If those health points go all the way to the end, you lose. Any of the four areas. Excellent. This looks fantastic. Thank you.